Greetings to our beloved Catholic brothers and sisters. Welcome back to our next video, and may you have a blessed and fruitful day. May God bestow His blessings upon all who are watching this video. In today's sermon, we embark on a spiritual journey, delving deep into the profound messages conveyed by Mother Mary to the visionary Maria Pavlovich. We hope that these messages bring you an intriguing start to the day, infusing heavenly strength into every aspect of your being. Before delving into today's topic, let us join together in prayer, offering our earnest supplications to God the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiful children, from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices and embrace challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the time of warning. We implore you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and receive your merciful heart so that they may offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We entrust our souls under the care of Mother Mary, the beloved daughter of God the Father. Protect the life of God within our souls, and do not let us lose that life through sin. Safeguard our minds and wills so that all our thoughts and desires may be pleasing to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Rejoice, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to the video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, and may God continually bless you. Now, let's not underestimate the importance of the events in Medjugorje. The Virgin Mary, through the visionary Maria Pavlovich, called upon the residents of the Medjugorje parish and pilgrims to gather at the Mountain of Apparitions, a sacred place where the visionaries first encountered the presence of God. This gathering, scheduled for 3 p.m., is a call to dedicate three hours to prayer, marking the beginning of the year 2024. Maria Pavlovich's testimony reveals the joy of the Virgin, gratitude for responding to her call, and a deep assurance that both the present and future generations will not regret paying attention to this divine call. The Virgin came joyfully, prayed for us, thanked us for responding to her call, and assured us that neither we nor our descendants nor future generations will regret it. This message is profoundly significant, a wonderful message. This message encapsulates profound hope, encouraging us to pray, follow celestial guidance, and share in the experience of divine messages. Sister Emmanuel, a living saint and servant of the Virgin, echoes the urgency of this event. She emphasizes the explicit nature of the Virgin's warnings and the potential consequences of ignoring this divine guidance. 
The impending challenges are not apocalyptic but rather a preparation for new times and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. In the face of these foreseen challenges, Sister Emmanuel advocates for a spiritual awakening, urging us to witness these new times with faith and peace. She reminds us that triumph follows conflict, and peace is essential for victory. As we brace for intensified struggles, the Virgin's message is clear, seek refuge in the heart of her Son, Jesus, alive in the Eucharist. This message serves as a warning, indicating a period of greater battles and challenges. Sister Emmanuel's call to spread this message through social media and to priests underlines the urgency of confession and partaking in the Eucharist, essential sacraments in these final times. The Virgin's message suggests that humanity is entering a period foreseen by her, a call to overcome challenges through collective prayer. In this critical juncture of history, humanity faces an imperative for deep reflection and spiritual transformation. Our Lady's words are not just a warning but an invitation to conversion, strengthened faith, and renewed commitment to prayer. In the Gospel of Matthew 7 verse 7, Jesus urges us to ask, seek, and knock, a reminder of the importance of persistent prayer, especially in times of tribulation. The message also underscores the need for reconciliation and confession, emphasizing their power for spiritual purification and renewal. Our Lady's call for unity and brotherly love resonates with Christ's teachings on loving one's neighbor. This unity in faith and love is crucial for facing upcoming trials and strengthening the community of believers. The emphasis on the Eucharist as a source of spiritual strength highlights its central importance in navigating challenging times. The mention of the Immaculate Heart of Mary as a refuge and path to salvation aligns with God's promise of protection and mercy. Psalm 91 verse 1 assures that dwelling in the secret place of the Most High brings refuge under the shadow of the Almighty. In an allegorical vision, a dense fog symbolizes the potential chaos and evil resulting from human indifference and destructive actions. This fog, though threatening, can be dissipated through individual and collective actions rooted in responsibility, mutual respect, and environmental care. The possibility of redemption and transformation emerges even in the face of this grim vision. The fog, though formidable, is not impenetrable. By choosing paths of solidarity, sustainability, and love, humanity can navigate through this hypothetical fog towards a harmonious and just future. Ultimately, Our Lady's message brings a prophetic dimension, echoing Jesus' words in Luke 21 verse 28. It urges us to stand up, lift our heads, and maintain hope and faith in the face of great challenges. Our role is not just one of resistance but an active witness to faith and hope, paving the way for a future of peace and spiritual renewal. May this divine message resonate within our hearts, guiding us through the challenges that lie ahead. May we embrace the call to prayer, unity, and love, finding solace in the heart of Jesus and the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May God be with you. Amen.